That old man be beating on my door with a cane right now. Good thing he's dead. I mean, seriously, he's he hated me. My neighbor across the street from me is an older gentleman, and uh, he's passed away now. But back in the day when I was selling cars online and things like that, yeah, he'd come by the house and he'd pull up in his 78 Ford pickup truck that he bought, brand new, long bed, grandpa specs all the way, baby blue, white walls, full hub caps, and it was pristine. He kept this truck immaculate. He, you know, he was a cool guy talking about the old days. I mean, he didn't even have dual exhaust in his truck. Like, it was bone stock original. Had 60,000 miles on it. Well, uh, a few years down the road, he ends up, he turns into a real bad diabetic, and he can't drive anymore. He lost a leg, things like that. So the truck just sat in the garage. Well, his wife was tired of, you know, trying to get in and out of her car in a two-car garage with this truck sitting there. And they decided they wanted to sell it, so they came to me to sell it. And being the good neighbor, I'm there for him. So we walk over and look at it, and I and I ask, you know, and we called him. His name was T, T E E, and so we called him Mr. T. So Mr. T, what would you like for your little Ford truck? And he said, I think it's worth about ten thousand dollars. And I told him, I said, it's not, right off the bat. I said, if you had the nicest one in the world, which you do, it's still not worth ten grand. And he said, well, what do you think it's worth? And I said, thirty five hundred dollars all day long. And I said, I really think that's retail on this truck. It's a long bed Ford truck, and this was. This is 15 years ago. And, and, and even now, it's still a long bed truck. It just kills the value of it. But I said, I'd be more happy to try to sell it for you. He said, I'd want more than 3500 for it. And I said, I believe that's all it'll ever bring. In the conversation, I walked back to my house. Didn't think no more about it. Well, the wife comes to my house, knocks on the door. And she said, would you pay $3,500 for it? And I said, no, ma'am, that's retail. That's what I would sell it for. And she said, well, make me an offer on it. And I said, I don't, I don't want to offend you. I don't, I'm not really in the market for Ford long bed pickup trucks. And I said, it's a great truck. It's a nice truck. And I said, but I have no use for it. And I said, my offer would be very low. She said, would you give 1500 bucks for it? I wrote her a check. So I picked the truck up. Mr. T gave me the evil look as I'm backing out of the driveway in his Ford truck. I back out of his driveway, go four houses down, take a right, pull into my driveway, and looking at my brand new 1978 Ford truck. And this thing is immaculate. And other than probably 30,000 cigarettes being smoked in it, it was absolutely perfect. I mean, it was pristine, this truck was. Everything in it worked. The original radio still had the label hanging from the knob. I mean, it's insane just how much paperwork. I had one of those accordion style file folders of every receipt, everything that's ever been done to this truck is in this file folder. I mean, bill sales, brochures, service, I mean, everything, warranty cards, everything. And just looking through, it's fascinating, it's neat, you know, telling the story of this truck. And I mean, it's just gorgeous, the paint was beautiful, it's just a nice old truck. But it's just a long bed grandpa truck. If you had the nicest one in the world, you really still don't have that much. Well. I drove it around for a little bit. I said, heck, I'll kick around in it. And this is the reason right here why I don't drive Fords. Mr. T drove his truck for years, never had many trouble with it. I drove it to my shop and a wheel cylinder blew out and I about put it in a ditch, driving it the very first time. So I put a set of wheel cylinders on the back of it, you know, fixed it right, got good brakes on it again. I decided, you know what, it's time for me to part ways with the Ford truck. So. I took some really good pictures in the same church parking lot that I like to use, amen, and we put it on everybody's favorite internet auction site, near and dear to old Rabbit's heart. We started out for a dollar, it's a classic rabbit move, and I wasn't too worried about what it was going to bring. So we, uh, we put it on there and it was only for seven days, or actually, oh uh, well, I put it on for a seven day auction. And I didn't even really check it. I was selling so many cars online at the time. It really didn't bother me that bad. I really, I didn't pay much attention to it. Well, I got it to about $5,000. And I'm like, man, that's impressive. And I hadn't even touched the bid on it yet, which is the craziest thing. And you know what? I thought, hey, we'll just let this one work. This is just working out on its own. I sold about eight cars that week, delivered. And uh, my little Ford truck was supposed to end like on a Saturday, I believe. It's when it was supposed to end. Next thing you know, I looked. And the bin's up to $10,000 on this truck. And I, like, I even double-checked it. 
And I'm like, I swear to you, my right hand up. I did not touch the bid on this thing. Well, next thing you know, the last hour, which is the golden hour for your bids, this truck bought $14,700 online. The first thing that got in my, the, the, like this is a trap, some kid's been bidding on this thing, this is gonna be, this is just gonna be a, a no-show, I know better. There was a vineyard up north that opened in 1978 and they were looking for a truck to letter and display inside their vineyard. And you're driving around, using promotional stuff, things like that. They came down, and you gotta think about it, up north, these trucks have rusted away, and this truck was perfect. And this guy drove down, and uh, he actually showed me a rendering that they drew up of it, with it all hand-painted, lettered up with their logos on it, and all this stuff, and it just so happens, the Grandpa Blue went with their logo. And that's how I made a 1,000% profit off Mr. T's truck. I pity the fool. At Dollar Shave Club, you're always in control. Simply choose the delivery dates and frequency that suits your schedule so you don't run out. Get a shave, shower, or oral care starter set for just five bucks at dollarshaveclub.com.